at crazy people. So <laughs> this morning we woke up and were reminded about some of the surprising beauty that accompanies full-time RVing. Uh, as we woke up to four inches of snow here in Wyoming on Labor Day weekend. <laughs> but last night... Uh, last night we were reminded Sad. about some of the stress and worry uh, that also comes along with full-time RVing and not being in a six and bricks house as we laid in bed and listened to all the limbs creak and fall all around our camper. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. So that's right. So us, like a lot of RVers, <laughs> uh, got caught a little off guard uh, yeah. by this kind of rapid winter storm <laughs> that hit in Labor Day weekend. I mean, right. I know we're out in Wyoming, but even the <laughs> Wyomians, Wyomingites, <laughs> oh. white, well, I don't know, <laughs> no. the locals, even the locals said we're that, sorry for this, that, early, whatever that, was. <laughs> that this early in the season that this is a little bit crazy. Yeah, like I was on Facebook on Labor Day, looking through the pictures that my friends had posted, and they are at the lake, and they're swimming, literally swimming and hanging out, and we were socked in freezing temperatures and brutal winds. We kind of knew it was coming, yeah. and so uh, we had looked at a route of where we were going to be uh, and really felt like we'd be okay. Yeah. We were right on a line, right up against a mountain range, and so really uh, up until, uh, honestly, just a few hours right. before we were pretty sure we were just going to get rain. Uh, and so, you know, we had settled in for the night. And as we kind of were working through dinner and getting things set up, we realized that the snow was probably going to hit us. Well, I was, um, we were actually finishing up and the kids were a little bit disappointed because yeah. um, they kept looking and there was no snow. And we kept watching the radar and it looked like we were just really going to get nothing at all. And so they had really kind of gotten jazzed up for a little bit of snow because, right. you know, we're from Georgia. And so snow, snow is really exciting for us. And especially snow in September yeah. is crazy. And so we actually opened the door and I opened the door just to see what was out there. And we started to see the first flurries mm -hmm. and it seemed very, very benign. Mm -hmm. it was just enough to be beautiful. The kids got out and, yep. uh, and started making a few snowballs. And we thought, go on out now because it looks like it's going to be gone by the morning. It's really kind of wet and slushy. It's mixed precipitation. So they got out. We thought that was it. Yep. <laughs> and so, you know, we did everything that we knew we were supposed to do yep. for the rig. Um, I filled up our fresh water yep. tank. Um, disconnected, disconnected our, our hose, hose. Yeah. Um, and so we knew we had full propane because we just filled mm -hmm. up so I mean we felt like we, we were good we had all the electric too. space heaters yeah. out so we were toasty warm yeah we were we we were good um, and so we had settled in for the night expecting you know to maybe wake up this morning uh, and maybe have some snow maybe not we still weren't sure uh, and then <laughs> um, that Everything kind of apart. joyful excitement turned to uh, an, a, a long and anxious night terrifying uh, about 10 30 uh, yeah. about 10 30 uh, we heard the first crack of a branch outside and I thought mm, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be bad because our campsite while I'm sure in the summer it would be amazing tons of trees for this experience not so much we are this far from the tree like literally our slide is right up next so to the tree we heard um, the first big crack and fall um, and it was right beside us um, in fact um, Francis hollered at me I went outside and <laughs> A I huge said, a branch tree is falling on our car. <laughs> had fallen and hit and hit the picnic table about three feet from our rig, um, and so and I went van. outside and our van was parked right behind uh, that, and so like some of the leaves were touching the van, and so I thought, oh, that's bad. And as we were standing out there looking at it, we could really, from outside, we could really hear the creaking all oh. around the campground. And it kept falling. Le limbs just mm -hmm. kept falling everywhere. Yep. So luckily we moved the van um, yeah. and um, I looked up, got my big flashlight and looked up in the tree and all of the big branches were hanging away from us. The whole tree itself was, I, there was no chance the whole tree was coming down, no. uh, but everything major was leaning away from us. And so I felt like, you know, we may get a little branch or so, 
And so we're looking there. Um, actually, we went back inside um, because I said, well, I mean, there's nothing we can do. We looked around the campground. Uh, there were no other spaces in the campground. Um, there yeah. was nowhere else really for us to go. We're not familiar with this area. No, and it was so dark. It was late. I just said, we, you know, we're just going to have to pray and, and work uh... through it. It'll be fine. <laughs> So we went inside, we got back in bed, and all of a sudden, there's a huge flash from outside, and the power goes out. And not only just a huge flash, there is a kaboom, followed by a second kaboom, and then yet another kaboom, and it sounds like explosions, which indeed... It was. So we got outside, and the transformer across the street (laughs) had literally blown up, um, exploded into a flume of fire, and then a flume of sparks uh, across the street. (laughs) Like, right across the street from us. Like, Um, we can see I mean, probably 100, 150 yards, maybe, from um, our camper. Yeah. And so... um, Praise the Lord. <laughs> our power came back on within yes. about two minutes yes. um, because I didn't have our generator set. We didn't have, we didn't any, have gas. any gas. I mean, we just, we just weren't hundred percent prepared. No, it's um, we're still having Georgian. a battery problem yeah. with our rig. And so, I mean, we were dependent yeah. on shore power. <sighs> so <laughs> but then we go back inside, we get back in the bed again. And then here comes three more back to back to back crashes. Huge. I mean, like so we go outside, just the worst sound in the world. And three more branches had fallen. Yeah. Uh, two of them where the van was. Yes. One more on yes. top of the picnic yes. table. Luckily, still nothing on the rig, and nothing looked like it was going to fall on the rig. And so then we're standing out there, and now lots of people are coming yes. out of the campers. It's about midnight now. People are like, lots are of people are coming out. Campers, so we're talking like to a lady. Falling. We're standing there looking, and a, a branch falls, just brushes. A camper one row over from us, and so they come out and are looking. And then while we're out, a branch falls on the camper right next to us. <laughs> it was so uh, it was, bad. It was crazy. I was terrified. So I got my flashlight out and looked again at the tree <laughs> and said, "You know, Francis, it's. I don't think we're in danger. Like mm. something's probably going to fall, but nothing that could hurt us." I'm terrified. Yes. So let me just insert the fact in between all this, it sounds like, you know, everything's going by. I am meanwhile a basket case. Like yeah. I am like, we need to hook up the rig. We need to leave. I'm like, where would we go? This is our home. Cause that's the thing. Like it's not just something that's small. Yeah. Like this is our home yeah. and we have six children inside this rig. So the thing who is, who are all, by the way, sleeping completely <laughs> except for soundly. Christopher, who like wonders where we are. Cause we're out talking to people. Well, this was just the, the very owner. first time we went out. Yeah. And and so it was terrifying because what's different about um, just like maybe having a weekend warrior kind of experience is that you can go back home. Yeah. Like you can load in your car. It would be really a pain to drag yeah. a half beaten up camper home, but it, you have a house to go right. to. But for us, like this we're in Wyoming and not only that, we are far, far away from any mm-hmm. family or friends who could help us or home, you know, yeah. for their home. And so also my children are in here. And so I'm like, what do we do with our She's kids? A basket what? Case. I was, it was a basket horrible. Case. Like I was terrified. Yeah. So we finally got back inside, um, and uh, power went out again. And I thought, what in the world? And it, it came back on just about 30 seconds later, um, and then about 45 minutes later, the power went out again. Uh. And then I realized that what was happening was because that transformer had gone out, we were getting power surges through our campground, and luckily our um, surge protector was protecting our Yay! camper. So Get it, a per- surge yeah. protector. So it was Gotta shutting down um, and rebooting, and that's what was going on. Oh, so what I was really worried about to start with, I felt much better about. Yeah. Yeah. So then was a long and semi sleepless oh, night where terrible. we were just sitting there listening to the branches creaking and yes, cracking. So helpless. Like you just um, lay there, and it was just cracking all yeah. throughout the camp. Luckily, and it was about falling. two o'clock, I think, the snow finally stopped. Um, and so there wasn't really, I don't think anything else fell after that. And so we finally were able to kind of semi get to sleep, uh, and then woke up the next morning and opened our door.
So once we were able to go outside, walk around, uh, we realized really quickly that everything had fallen right beside our camper, oh. right beside our camper. But the Lord protected us. I mean, so everything was thankful. right there on a pile on top of the picnic table. <laughs> I prayed all night the long. The only thing that was on our camper was one maybe five foot branch um, that was laying on top. It was laying on our air conditioner, but really, um, like you could tell from where it had fallen from that it yeah. it didn't have enough. Like it only fell about four feet, so it didn't have enough time to get enough speed to do any damage. So it was literally just laying on top of our roof. Uh, so I was able to go up and throw it off. We met the campground owners out picking up yeah. um, sticks. We found out everybody had everybody fared was fine. Safe. Everybody um, was, was two people well. moved their camper kind yeah. of to other parking space. They had small like van campers. Um, uh, three or four people had some branches on their rigs. Uh, only one person had any quote unquote damage and it was just uh, surface damage, yeah. just like a scratch. Nobody had any structural such damage. Such a blessing. So such a huge, huge, huge blessing. Uh, and so then once we realized that we were good, <laughs> our prayers had been answered, um, <laughs> then it was time to have some fun. Yeah. So we went back inside and cooked up some pancakes, um, got everybody bundled up, um, dug all those winter clothes out from <laughs> under the beds. Um, and so here's a quote, here's the thing, a tip you should do. Always carry some things, oh, even yeah. in the back of your car, even if you're full timing and you think, oh, guess yeah. what? We have plenty of time. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. So make sure you have a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's the thing about full time. You have to pack for all seasons all, <laughs> all the, time. the time. And so we had to dig it out, the gloves, the hats. We had it all though. But then we were able to just go out. The kids had an amazing oh, time playing so in the awesome. snow. And then we were able to go drive around and... And we're actually right now work, on a date vistas. day. So, like, we took a little... Just to scout it out. We didn't want to bring the kids in case the right. roads... I mean, again, we're Georgians, so yeah, we, we don't, don't know do we're snow. Doing. But Wyoming, they do snow good. Like, I mean, yeah. he heads up to you guys. Y'all are awesome. But I wanted to... You know, like, we wanted just to scout it out. So, we mm -hmm. swung through and got a little something yummy to drink. And then look at the I got the a nice coffee. Is that weird? The... <laughs> I got a nice coffee. Yeah, it really is. But we're weird. But look at this beauty. Yeah, and amazing. so... stopped and we just took a moment and mm -hmm. took a deep breath and realized you know what this the, is the payoff this i mean is the that, payoff. that's kind of the reality is when you're rving there are it's not 100 percent vacation i mean no. like there's 
there's there's things that are going to stress you out, yes. things that are going to be out of your control. Things it's, wrong with your ribs it's all life. the time. Yes. It's life. There's a, a learning curve. I mean, we've been doing this six months. This is our first note. Yeah. And so there are Huge things that we just, curve. we just didn't know. We didn't have... Ready. We're actually changing our route now. We're going to go um, yeah. back south a little bit um, and stop off in a big city and make some adjustments to our yes. rig just yes. because you just can't know everything. Right. But it doesn't stop you from finding those amazing opportunities, yes. those amazing vistas. This is so worth it. You know, was last night a long semi-sleepless night? Yes. yes. But was it worth it for the payoffs today? Yes. Oh, my gracious. So, so much. Absolutely. And that, that's the thing. I mean, and that's, that's true of life. Like there, you, you yeah. can't find anything that you're going to, that's going to be completely in your control. Perfect that You're going to know everything time. about. It's going to be perfect all the time. Yeah. There's going to be trials. There's going to be stressors. There's going to be things that are out of your control. And when that is, you do everything you can do and then you trust the Lord with it. That's um, right. And that, that's what we've done. And now yes. we're, Today, we get to reap the benefits of we that. We do. So. And just in also realizing that it is a vulnerable place to be. Mm. And it's we don't want to paint it that it's always epic and no. perfect because we all need to help each other be prepared. Yeah. And so that's why we wanted to insert this video um, kind of where we are right now right. because we really learned some things, which is that, you know, it's not always going to be perfect. And your no. plans and your routes may seem like you are chasing that weather that that's you right. want all the time. We have great 70-degree days. No. We, Boom, snowstorm. Yeah, we, were, yeah, we, we left 100 literally. A 108 degree weather two, two days, days ago, ago. Yeah. and now we are bottoming out in the 40s and the 20s tonight and so you Crazy. can't plan no, for everything no, you can't control you everything you can't have it all perfect but you can embrace um just the journey and the adventure of it and realize that some of those times if you push through on the journey really make it that's what makes yeah, it epic and absolutely. you're doing it together with your crazy family making some crazy fun memories and sometimes it is crazy scary yeah. but what is it but it is worth to keep going and to do what the lord's called you to do and to hang on tight and enjoy the journey absolutely so uh, if you haven't subscribed to all of our crazy Please journeys do. make sure you do that Join the uh, community. You can, that's right you can check out um, our next travel vlog this Friday and um, we're continuing on yeah. um, from Hot Springs doing some other amazing things yeah. uh, and then catch us next week for our midweek RV Family Life yeah. video. We're um, celebrating our six months on the we're road. We're coming so up on six months. So we got some, with a you. couple of fun videos yeah. coming up for that. So uh, if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button and if you missed any of our last videos and you can click on like that link down there. Uh, we would wanna... love to get a like. We'd yeah. love to get a comment. Yes. Um, what's, what's, an, what's a kind of a scary adventure that you had when you were, was it a rain? Is it, did, what happened? Right. Let us know something that really was really kind of terrifying for you on your crazy journey. See you next time, guys. Bye, guys.